All right, guys, I got done cleaning all the oil pan holes, and now I've installed the bottom rear main seal. This is a two-piece seal, and you want to install it with one side sticking up. Uh, Three-eighths of an inch is what they recommend. And uh, they include a little shoehorn tool, but I've never figured out how that thing works, so I'm hoping I ain't got to use it. But uh, the next step is installing the... Uh, main crank bearings. I'm using cell power bearings. Alright, and if you notice on these bearings, on the big bearing, thrust, thrust bearing, one of them doesn't have a oil hole. That always goes in the cap. The ones that do not have an oil hole go in the cap. The other one, you got of the box, has an oil hole. And it will line up, and you want to make sure it lines up with this, with this hole right here. All right. So if you install it this way, you're not going to get any oil. You have got to install it that way, okay? <coughs> Very important getting these oil holes lined up. All right, so these bearings are a little bit dusty, so I'm going to blow them off. I can just from the packaging. pop in and there ain't but one way to install this because it's got a little old notch right here that won't, won't let you even try to install it backwards All right, so we got that one in now we'll put the remaining ones in and show this notch I'm talking about every one of them has a notch this notch right here you got another notch right there notice that side don't have a notch so you really can only put these bearings in one way, but you can mix up and put the wrong bearing in. You're not careful. You always want to make sure you have the ones with the ones with the oil hole goes in the block. I'll try to get them centered. Now, we'll put some assembly room in there. Now you can uh, buy assembly lube, like this Federal Mogul brand, uh, assembly lubricant. Or you can make your own, and uh, I've used motor oil and STP oil treatment together. Works just as well. It's thick. So we're gonna lay this little bit of lube in here. Remember, this engine's not gonna be started no time soon, but it uh, I'm gonna get some on that back side of that iron. Right. This stuff's pretty thick, and it will stay on these bearings. Make sure you have a clean hand. We'll be turning this crank, so it does need lubrication. And of course, before we start it, we'll uh, we'll prime up the oil pump and all. Make sure everything's lubed like it's supposed to be. Also, on this seal, you want to get some of this oil on this seal good too. It will uh, help keep that seal from from. Uh, rubbing your crank dry and of course you want some on the on the thrust bearing part of this too <coughs> now we're ready for 
for a crank. When we set the crank in, you want to be very careful. Very careful. The crank is in. Now we're ready for. <coughs> I've got grease all over. Now we're ready for the, the caps. Now let's say the seal goes with the big lip towards the front of the engine. So that would be this lip. So we're going to put it in there like that. Now I've got to figure out. It's got to stick out this way. I'm gonna go ahead and let's dusty put some oil lube on this. And on this back one, what we want to do just to keep it from just to minimize our chance of this rear main leaking right off the bat we will uh, put a little RTV on this thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some RTV on this shit this is just about dried up on me probably got a little more than I needed but anyway, I've got RTV. That's probably way too much. Now I've got it all over my fingers. I'm going to ease this baby in here. Try to line these. Peg don't want to cooperate. Hmm. What the hell is that peg doing there? I don't think it's the peg. Crank just ain't seated good. Let's see if I can find another panel. That's what it is, this crank ain't seated. There it went. Alright. Probably not the best way to seat a crank. Probably not. Well, we got a lot of damn trash in there. It's not what I wanted. Let's see, let's go the other way. Alright, good enough. Put, put the bolts in. I'm going to put a little oil on it. On the threads. Alright, now we'll be going on to the other ones. We'll uh, get them all on, 
and torque them. Now, like I said, if you uh, you're real concerned about the, the tolerances, then by all means, go ahead and check it. <coughs> Put in there and put the, I usually just put it on the bearing cap when I set the bearing cap in place and then I'll take it up and look and see but I know these have been mic'd and checked and they were then spec so I know I ain't gonna have no issues. So I'll show you this first one just like the uh just like the bottom you got a groove and your bearing if you get them light, it's got that little tab that's going to fit in that groove and you're just going to push it flush make sure it's good and clean and then we're going to always make sure these things have an error See that arrow right there? Always goes to the front of the engine. <coughs> so the only thing you have to worry about is make sure that thing pointing the right direction. What that does is it lines up those those grooves together in the bearings, top and bottom bearing. So slide this one in. And these have got full boat mains, so you got smaller boats so on the outside. Larger boats go on the inside. The longer boats are not not necessarily they're the same size, just one's longer. And that's uh all this to it now we'll uh go get the other three bearing caps and I'll uh, come back after I get them put on and we'll come back and torque them down and I'll show you that next. Alright guys I got her bolted down and just snugged up. Always at this time, make sure you crank a turn. If it won't turn by hand real easy, something's wrong. This crank's turning good. You can tell it's got that uh, that oil on it. It's thick. But if you can't crank it by hand, turn it by hand. Our right, torque specs 80 and 70 on the outside. Uh, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it in three different type, three sections. And first one, I'm gonna go 30. Let's see. 20. 30. And this torque wrench ain't the most accurate, but it'll work. And I'm gonna start in the middle. And I'm gonna go 30 pounds. I'm gonna hold this damn frame down.
now we got it 30. We're going to check again. Make sure it turns by hand. Turns real easy. Nice. We'll go to 50. And do it again. So now we know these have got to be 70, so we'll just set it for 70, torque them all, and then go back and hit these three in the middle, or hit them all in the middle at 80. That's 50, 60, 70. Oh yeah, I did forget to turn it by hand a little bit, but I can tell it still turns easy. That's 70. We'll still turn it by hand. It's a little bit tighter, but it still <coughs> moves pretty good. So now we'll go to 80. And we'll run these middle ones. Now some people will bounce that torque wrench. I'll try to hit it again, and some people say don't do it, but you get the torque uh, too tight, so I normally just go until it clicks. She's just talked. Now, I'm going to check it again, make sure she'll turn good. She does. Turns real good. And, and now, we're ready to flip her over and start stuffing some pistons in her. <coughs> 